Hey, your friends and family. Um, so we were thinking, what's a boy to do whenever he turns 50? Well, for us, we just pack up the RV and head south to South Padre Allen, like all the other snowbirds in Texas. So follow along as we see what it's like in January in South Padre Allen. All right, so uh, where is South Padre? What is South Padre? There's a little bit of confusion on this, actually, because... Uh, uh, Padre Island National Seashore actually stretches all the way from Corpus Christi to the north to South Padre Island, uh, which is just on the border of uh, Mexico. So it's 113 miles long. What we're talking about here is just the southern part right here, South Padre Island, right here by Mexico, the furthest south that you can get in Texas. All right, so I'm uh, nursing a little bit of a back injury. So our uh, well, I'll just say your entertainment options may vary. Uh, ours consisted of less walking and more sitting. So uh, there is lots of zip lines and, and uh, each activities. And of course, this is in the winter, so there's a lot more to do in the summer. Um, but for us, we're going to hit some uh, breweries, I think. So one of our favorite places that we went to probably about every other day was the Padre Island Brewing Company. Um, we... Went there and found out they had 75 cent oysters, so that was an incredible bargain. So we went there during happy hour. Uh, happy hour drinks also were uh, were really good, uh, really good deals. And uh, they had um, handmade pizzas that they'll pretty much make it any way you want it. And uh, I had the calzone, um, so uh, sandwiches, burgers, pizzas, uh, fish. Um, and they had a little bit of everything, so really good place, and of course, really good, uh, really good beers. So, um, check that place out. The other place that everybody talks about is Mahi Nicks, and uh, this is really unique uh, place. It's all outdoor seating. It's on a dock, um, so you get the view of this little bay here with the with the boats, and uh, you get the mahi fried mahi or seasoned mahi sandwiches, so uh, also just really, really unique and uh, fantastic. But the biggest, best thing about it was these incredible french fries. Uh, go there for these hand-cut monster fries. All right, so uh, reality here. Um, it is winter, and uh, uh, it is, uh, well, this is where seniors go. So we went to Tequila Sunset. Uh, it's right there on the bay side and uh, right there on the water. A lot of fun, but what you will find is this. Look, I'm not trying to throw any shade here. The place was great. A lot of fun people. Uh, great drinks. They had some drinks that would knock you on your tail. I'm just saying if you're under 55, uh, you're going to be the young ones there. I actually I kind of I think I kind of fit in. I, I found my peeps here because, you know, my back. But uh, it, uh, that's a different crowd than what you're going to get in the spring and the summer. All right, so the beach. Um, it is not going to be nearly as beautiful as it's going to be in the summertime. Um, and you know, it's a little cloudier, um, a little cooler, um, but, uh, it is still beautiful. Um, in the summer, uh, this is going to have probably your clearest, cleanest, bluest water in all of the, uh, Gulf coast, uh, at least certainly the Texas coast. Um, you're getting down here close to Mexico and, uh, the beautiful Mexican beaches. So, um, that's why everybody goes here, especially in the summer, um, but in the winter, it's going to be a little little uh, breezier and cloudier, but it's still a beautiful beach. Look, if you want to be antisocial, then this is the time of year to go to the beach because there is nobody out there. You can just go out and walk along the beach, um, and you just might not want to get in the water unless you have a wetsuit. Also, while you're in town there, make sure you check out the uh, sandcastles. Um, they're under a little tent, so that way they're not getting torn up by the storms or rain. Um, but uh, really neat, beautiful uh, sandcastle art. Uh, check that out, and then you're going to head across the causeway back over to the mainland of Port Isabel. 
So if you're here on Port Isabel, you're going to be able to go up inside this uh, lighthouse. And if you're feeling adventurous, I think it's like $5, go up inside there, climb to the very top. Um, I will caution you if, you know, you uh, have aches and pains, you're going to hate yourself for going up there. Um, but uh, you will get a beautiful view of this whole town and of the bay uh, leading over to South Padre Island. Um, and so it is some beautiful views up there of everything around um, Port Isabel and of South Padre Island. So that there is the causeway that leads you over to South Padre Island that you see out there in the distance. So that brings us here to Pirate's Landing. Uh, this is the pier out there on Pirate's Landing that we were just looking at from uh, up in the lighthouse. And a uh, really cool little restaurant here. Very, very eclectic. Um, good seafood. Um, good music. So uh, after eating there, you can cut through this little uh, courtyard area and kind of through this little alleyway and you'll be right back out there by the lighthouse again. Cut in here to the Rio Grande Distillery and they have a variety of flavored whiskeys, um, flavored vodkas, and flavored moonshines. So uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, uh, this is a, a unparalleled experience. All right, so where do we stay when we're there? Um, kind of wrapping this up. Um, we are RVers, so we stayed at two places. We stayed at the uh, Isla Blanca. It's a county park. They're at the uh, southern tip of uh, South Padre Island. You actually, from our camping area, you could see uh, SpaceX, where they um, Elon Musk shoots off rockets. Um, and then uh, the weather was going to be pretty bad. Um, up in San Antonio, so we decided to just ride out the, uh, the freezing weather here in uh, uh, South Padre, so we went over to the KOA campground for another, uh, about another week before we started heading back north, um, and we still got some, got some weather, uh, wasn't nearly freezing cold though, so it was just rainy and windy. All right, so, well, that's the trip. This is the RV. Um, we are, uh, I guess, just a little bit about those those two campgrounds we stayed at. Um, the Isla Blanca, the County Park, uh, they're, they're both good for two different reasons. The County Park, it's cheaper. Um, and, uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a resort park. Uh, it is right there, kind of on the beach. Um, so, there's that, um, but you kind of see from the pictures, yeah, it's not it's not a beautiful place. And we had a pretty nice spot on the end. Uh, we're pretty happy with it. Um, so you know, do your research. Um, the other one, the KOA, it's a resort, so it's you know eighty dollars a night, so it's twice as much. Um, but it does have a lot more amenities. So you know, like I said, it's uh, do your research, figure out what's best for you. But uh, I would highly recommend either one of them. People were fantastic at the uh, KOA. Like they, they were super accommodating when we went in there. Said, "Hey, we need a place to stay." Um, they made room for us. Um, uh, really nice people. And um, and then uh, the Isla Blanca. Yeah, again, it's it's, it's a park. Um, it's a county park. You know, it is what it is. Uh, be careful if you're going to Isla Blanca. Um, be careful because everybody drives right past the uh, um, welcome center for it and goes all the way down to the guard shack because you know that's what you do and then the guy tells you kind of fairly rudely um you passed where you're supposed to go to i don't know how anybody's supposed to know that so um you know kind of pay attention to where it is you're supposed to check in at and uh make sure you make the loop around there to go in and check in before you go down to the guard shack because he'll just turn you right back around so um uh, anyway that's our review for uh um uh, winter in uh, South Padre Island. Again, you know, if you're under 55, 
um, you're going to be the youngest people there. But uh, the, the people are are all uh, good people. We had a really good time. Um, and, uh, I mean, you know, I fit in. So, um, uh, until next time, like, subscribe.